everyone, welcome to L Plays Makoto Mobius. This is another game by Nico Sharon, aka the person who makes all those lovely Yandere games. I don't even know if this one actually has a Yandere, so let's find out. This game contains violent and grotesque depictions. So yes, it may involve Yandere, who knows. The game is a work of fi uh, story is a work of fiction, any resemblance to anything is a coincidence. And there's Nico Sharon. How cute you are. Hello, Sharon. How you doing? It's lovely to be back into one of your games. I genuinely have no idea what I'm going into. Anyway. Hey, do you know about Mobius? Isn't that the old planet of so uh, in Sonic the Hedgehog before they rebooted the canon like 9 million times? They say he'll rewrite the past for you, but only one time. Would I be better off dead? Probably not. I mean, you strike me as a bit young to be having these kind of thoughts. It came out of nowhere. Directed at me, for some reason. The girl who sat next to me, Makoto, asked me that. She was simply a classmate. We were in the same class, but we had never really spoken much. Until that fateful day. And yet Makoto came to me with that question. Probably asking for help. That night, Makoto died. Oh. Awkward. I didn't even know whether it was a suicide, homicide, or accident. It was never revealed. Makoto has passed away. The truth of the incident had vanished into darkness. That was all the teacher would tell me. Well, it's all you really need to know. I mean, you said it yourself. The two of you weren't friends. You look sad. I... Don't really care. That's not nice. I don't care that the classmate who sat next to me died. The story's starting to seem pointless if you don't give a shit, but okay. Even though she had disappeared. It's not like we were related anyway. I don't feel anything whatsoever. I'm not even sad. You're a bit of a dick. So what's the whole point of the story? You only learn to care about her after she dies? That's... That's not good, I mean... Death is sad, but... You shouldn't learn to care about someone just because they're dead. I, I, if that's what this game's going to get to, I, I kind of have a problem with it already. I didn't have a single connection to her. She was just the person who coincidentally sat next to me. Everything would be the same even without her. Rude. The same quiet everyday life. She was gone, but my life would go on. Girl with weird hair. <laughs> Good morning, Wataru. All oh, right, so that is the name of the main character. Guess how I can tell, guys. You're not looking too hot today. You okay? Um, I, I'm fine, I guess. This girl is Mikio. Like Makoto, she's just another classmate who rarely speaks to me. Apparently, she was Makoto's best friend. So, is she feeling okay? Like, is she holding up well? Hey, is there something bothering you? Oh, I get it. You're annoyed because I'm here to talk all of a sudden, even though I normally never talk to you. 
Uh, I came to talk to you today because I have a favor to ask. Can you guess what it is? Look, if you're gonna make me play a guessing game, I'm more likely to say no. That is the truth of real life as well. <sighs> I don't know. What do you want? Well... I was thinking, I want to help at Mako. And you're the only one who can do that. She came over to talk to you yesterday, right? I was watching, you know. She went to you to ask for help instead of me, her best friend. What are you talking about? Like, what do I have to do with it? <laughs> Mako's the kind of girl who wouldn't ask for help even if she really wanted it. What a sweet little maiden. Uh, honey, I hate to bring it to you, but dead people can't come back. Oh, is that what you're worried about? You don't have to worry about that, Wataru. Hey, do you know about Mobius? Uh, yeah, doesn't he do time travel or something? Or is it, that's the name of the planet, Sonic the Hedgehog. One of the two. They say he'll rewrite the past for you, but only one time. Well, that's just an urban legend. Wrong! He really exists, I know. Have you even met him? Ah, I, 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 I can see where she's going with this. If she knows he can rewrite the past, then that means that he won't rewrite it again for her. You've met him too, Wataru. You have a ribbon on your boobs. Okay, here. It's a Mobius strip. I made it myself. I made it out of construction paper. Okay. You close your eyes, put both arms through it, and say the magic words. You have to say, Mobius, I beg of you, eight times. Seems like a pretty arbitrary number, to be honest. Guess I have no choice or I prove it's just a myth. I could just walk away from her, you know, if I'm this much of an asshole. I'll prove it's just a myth. Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of you. Do I actually need to mean this? Mobius, I beg of you. 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 See? Nothing. Off you go, Wataru. Makoto can be saved? By me? Why? How? But... In that moment... As my consciousness drifted away, I heard someone's voice calling out to me. How many times has it been now? What is it you desire? Do you still not understand? No matter how much you twist the ring of fate, you'll always arrive at the same result. If you still don't understand this after going through it several times, then continue struggling within this endlessly repeating time period. So, something's inevitable? Okay, so we're at the 23rd of June 2013. The next instant, I was there. A calming night breeze, a gently shining moon. Was this Makoto's house? I don't know. Mm. 
Well, it's the hellish music, I can tell you that much. I recognize it. So I am Wataru, a boy. I can sniff. I host a curse and somebody is going to die. How cheerful. So yeah, that, you know, do I understand? I don't think I can actually save her from the sounds of it. It sounds like I can and it looks like somebody's going to die because of that flag. This must be Makoto's house. Oh, cheerful. Let's go inside. Hello, bunny. It's nice to see you again. I have missed you for a little while. Here, I'll save this little one. I should check everything. Coat's hanging on the rack. There's a shoe cabinet. There's nothing strange about it. Oh, I wanted more notes. Remember the last time, guys, when I had all the notes? Ooh, calendar. Today is June 24th. This is a bathroom. I'm not very good looking. I'm average, if not worse. Buddy, if you don't have faith in yourself, then no one will ever want you. Is that Makoto? Makoto. Sniffer? Fine. Sniff, sniff. I'm a creepy bear bear. Cause that's what I do. It's Makoto's diary. Let's read it. Oh, you do not look happy right now. June 21st. Such a gloomy atmosphere. It's suffocating. I can hardly breathe. I can't smile at all. Even if I force myself to, there's no heart in it. What's keeping me going? What would happen if I lost that? By the time I find out, it might be too late. Oh, I hear it. I hear it again. Please don't do those terrible things. My heart aches so much. You're inhuman. Dad's having trouble at work again. Every day is the same for me. The same time. The same space. Oh, is she stuck in a loop? Crap, no wonder you're depressed. I want to help dad. I want to help dad. I want to help dad. What can I do? It's so agonizing. Not being able to do anything is so painful. If only I could change just one thing. I don't care what would happen to me. I probably wouldn't be mad about it. I doubt I'd even resist. What is my heart made of? Muscle, tissue, blood. I wish I wasn't born as a human, but rather something without a heart. I don't care whether it would have been biological or mechanical. June 22nd. Once again, Dad. made curry. I think it came out tasty. Oh, there's that. There's nothing to do in the house, so I just keep improving my ability to do housework. I don't have any interests. I used to have some, but now I don't want to do anything. That is a pretty common sign of depression, actually. Things that you used to like, you just can't. You don't want to, they don't bring you any joy. Leave me alone. You're talking to your diary, hun. I don't matter. Makoto. If dad told me to die, I would. No one should have that much power over your life, even if they are your parents. That's all I can do. There are no options. There's no other way. My body feels heavy. Was it always this heavy? I'm going to sleep. I feel depressed. June 23rd. I talked to Ataru. That's right, I've never really spoken to him much, but he's the guy who sits next to me. He's always has a gloomy look in his face, just like me. I can't really speak for him, but it sure doesn't seem like he's having fun with his life. 
didn't tell him anything. It's not like I'm feeling concerned or anything like that. Did I want to discuss something with him? Not quite. I'm not worried about anything. There's nothing to talk about. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> Nothing has been written after this yet. Because the day is the day she dies. That will be why. Okay. Small TV's here. I guess I'm not turning it on. Well maintained decorative plant. Probably takes care of it every day. Cute looking shelf. An oddly coloured notebook. Yeah, sure. One, placing the curse. Okay, this is just taking a dramatic turn. Cut a paper into a thin long strip, then twist one of the ends and attach it to the other. This is called a Mobius strip. So, Miko has basically put me into some kind of curse. So, it's not time travel, it's actually a curse. What kind of curse? Slip your arm through the Mobius strip, then chant eight times, Mobius, I beg of you. After a moment, you will lose consciousness and find yourself in your desired time and location. You will then be the host of this curse. 2. Warning. This is a curse. It allows you to relive a certain period of time forever. Be sure to act in accordance with the rules. Should you stray from them, you will lose something dear to you. The number of people who will die on any given day is fixed. This is absolutely impossible to change. So I can't stop her from dying. Unless that's not what that's saying. I'll keep what I'm thinking it is to myself right now, but... 3. Removing the curse. There is no way to remove the curse. Joy! However, if the curse host dies, the time loop will end. So, it's fixed. As in, her dying is... A uh, person dying will stay the same. However, I die. It did say that only the number of people is fixed. It didn't say necessarily anything else. Mr. Cactus is written on the pot. Oh, she named her Cactus. That's kind of cute. Okay, and one more room. Is that a chair? It's Makoto's dad. He's taking a nap. Okay. Inside the drawer, there are a large number of sleeping pills. Force them down Makoto's... Whoa. Uh, how about no? Decorate the shelf. Makoto's dad is bed. Foot in that smells like an old man. I'd probably pass out if I took a good whiff. Well, let's not then. So it's hanging on the rack. It's a calendar. Today is June 23rd. That's good. Bookshelf. The salary man building communication skills. How to speak well looking someone in the eyes. Business etiquette you'll be embarrassed about. I have books like that when I was working in sales. I don't anymore. Not that I don't have the books. I don't work in sales anymore. Crumpled up piece of paper. Read it. Damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. Well, that was useful. Alright, so the number of people who dies is fixed. Should I be worried that his first thought was to immediately murder her dad? Why not? Eat the pills. Nom 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 delicious. If fate said Makoto would die. If fate said that she would be killed by her father. We don't know that. Then I'll just keep him asleep tonight. That way, no one will die. Well, that's a wee bit naive of you. And I mean, how many pills have you shoved down his throat? A June 23rd where no one dies. That's impossible. We already know. We read the curse rules. This is the answer I've come up with. Well, you're wrong. Do it again. I went back to my house. My house was alight, flames burning brightly. That day, my mother died. Ew. 
Oh dear! Bad end for someone somewhere. Okay, how many ends are there? Oh, well, let's try that again. Um. Well, we already know that Wash Hour doesn't really give a shit, so. Well, if I just go home after reading the diary. So, what I will do is I will cut this out. Alright, we're back. I've read the notebooks and stuff in her room, so as I don't give a shit, I'm just going to go. Wait! Don't go. It happened right when I was about to leave. Someone pulled on my sleeve. It was Makoto. Please don't go. You, you came to save me, didn't you? Oh god, this is heartbreaking. I, I know. But you can't. The amount of people who will die on a given day is set. That means if you save me, someone else has to die. And if you mess up a step in your plan, the result might end up even worse than that. It's impossible, no matter what you do. The Ring of Fate. Mobius is trapping me here. Why hasn't anyone noticed? I think your friend noticed. I mean... I know. I figured it out by now. I know that this world is an illusion. So... Please, stay here with me. Don't go away. Stay here in this endless time loop. For me? Come see me every day. You're all I have, Wataru. Your constant visits are the only thing that have kept me sane. I've only visited once and you were asleep. I'll be really lonely. If no one comes to see any me anymore, I'll go crazy. Come on, Wataru, please. I'm begging you. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you, Wataru. Stay with me. How can I say no to that face? I don't think I can. It's you again. How many times has it been now? Well, only twice. What is it you desire? Do you still not understand? No matter how much you twist the win of a ring of fate, you'll always arrive at the same result. If you still don't understand this after going through it several times, then continue struggling within this endlessly repeating time period. <laughs> okay. Why are you here? Bad end 6. Endless June 23rd. So trying to leave just results in an endless June 23rd because I won't leave or can't leave. Okay, good to know, game. I've only tried escaping twice and already you're acting like I've done it a hundred times. But maybe I have in a weird, twisted way. I don't know what to do. I'm probably going to get people killed. I have no idea what I'm doing. I should really leave this house, but I can't. So I won't. Do do. I say, bunny, we're going to save here. And then we'll end the episode and try again later on. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all in the next episode of my Mobius. Am I ready to go to Broadway yet? Eh? Eh? Ah.